Yo, look. Look what I got in the mail today. Oh, snap. It's not my doll from Japan. It's a vinyl cutter. Let's open it up. I want to see how easy it is to assemble. I want to see how easy it is to plug into my laptop. And I want to see how easy it is to start making shirts with it. of the cutter and I think that's a stand. Let's put it all together. So we got the visor cutter set up. Let's install what we have here I guess. I'm gonna try not to read the instructions because instructions are for chumps. I wanted these glasses because a company hit me up saying, hey, yo, Ray, it's me, I sent you a free pair. I'm like, wow, for reals? Dang, and I'm so glad they did, man, because I'm looking fresh. Their name is Be Unique Without Expectations. Link in the description below, all right? Look, I'm editing this video right now. And I feel I have to make something very clear. This sunglass company, they sent me a free pair of glasses to show their appreciation for all the videos I've done. And ironically, the people that send me something and expect nothing out of it, those are the people I want to help out. Now, if you want to do business with me, then that's a whole different thing. Hit me up and say, hey, I want to be in business with you. Let's work something out. Then we could work something out. Let's get back to the video. So, we have a problem. It's not turning on. Look. Nothing. You know, I have the manual. I switched the outlet. I even gave it a little kiss. Nothing's working, man. I even did the old Super Nintendo trick to see if it works. Nothing. I'm gonna be real honest with you. It's gonna happen from time to time. You're gonna get a piece of equipment, something's not gonna come in it, it might not be working the right way. It happens to everybody, it happens in business a lot. And that's why it's very important to buy your machine straight from the company because of the technical support. Because if you buy this off Craigslist or off another person, you won't have that support. Now, this is a this is a deal breaker right here. If their customer service is great and they take care of the problem quick, they're a good company. If they give me a hard time, I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. For technical support, please press three. And uh, it's not turning on, man. Yeah, you could get UPS to come and pick it up? Yeah. That's cool, yeah, I'll, I'll do that, man, appreciate that. Sounds good, and then, would you happen to know roughly how long it would take for me to get the new vinyl cutter? You should get this sent out today, um, it should get you to you by tomorrow. Man, you guys are awesome, man. I, pr I appreciate it. I appreciate it, hey, I'm, I make YouTube videos, so I'm gonna give you guys a good review, all right? Yeah, yo, you're gonna be famous, all right? <laughs> so, got this, got the wires. Cross your finger, it works. Cross them. Moment of truth, man. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna be so upset. One. <laughs> no joke, I turned it on, it didn't turn on right away, and I was like, no, but it turned on. 
Let's get the program on the laptop. Let's cut our first design. All right, so with the program itself, you could do simple designs. You could do names, right? Let's just say you wanted that. And then you can take out the color over here on this side. And then let's just say you want to print. You will go over here too. Send this to the printer, and there you go. Our logo right here. It's a JPEG. Let's vectorize it. Of course, you will have to play around with this more. And um, and then look, with this tool right here, what is it called? No edit tool. You can change the node. See all those dots? You can manipulate it, look. See, like that. So even with this alone, you can start making designs. Let me see, let me try something more complicated, you know? This is one of my, one of the homies, Ashley, she made this design right here. Love this design, by the way. How hustlers only welcome. All right, as you guys can tell, not the cleanest. Like this right here, look, look at the hole right there. But that's where I will get my node and clean it up right there. Just delete some, change. But I do myself use a program called Corel Draw, where I could actually make my own designs. I mean, you gotta look it up on YouTube. And Corel Draw isn't paying me for this, but this Corel Draw and also Adobe Illustrator. I heard Adobe Illustrator is only twenty dollars a month. But let me know, Corel Draw. You buy it one time and it's yours forever. What we have here is a blade holder. This is a pencil. Here's an extra blade. We're gonna get this one. And there we go. Now, we're gonna put it in here. There you go, and now we're gonna tighten it. See, like that? That's too deep. It's gonna go way too deep. You barely want it. See, even that, that might be too deep. So, a little bit more. There we go, look early anything that's how much you want it but to really find out the perfect size we gotta do a test run you know what first I'm gonna show you how this, how this works regular piece of paper we're gonna put it right here you go to offline and then up and down look see it moves the vinyl well whatever's under it See, and then you can move this to the side, however you want. And then when you're done, offline. All right. Let's say you want to move this over here, right there. Press origin to make it stay right there. So, I got a simple square ready to go. We're gonna go to send to cutter. Cut now. All right. So proceed to cutting and nothing's happening. So, all right, so we gotta go to direct USB port, detect. It's because the software isn't communicating with the machine. So we gotta do this. Please turn off the device and click next. All right, please plug in the device and turn it back on. All right. Unable to detect device. Damn, what do you do? Let's try a different port then. We're gonna try direct com port. All right, so. You know, you just gotta try different stuff. So Nets, unable to detect device, oh! So we're gonna go to device manager. We're gonna go to port. And then this is the one we downloaded right here. We're gonna go to port settings, advanced. We're gonna switch it to number two. Okay, and let's try it again. Then we're gonna switch it to COM2, and there you go. Why does it work? I don't know, man. I wish I could tell you. It just works. And you might be wondering, but Reyes, how do you know you had to do that? You won't believe it? I read it in a fortune cookie. And the US cutter that I used to have is pretty much the same thing. And I'm gonna tell you something. Look, we're gonna cut this square now. If you plan on starting a business, you need to realize that not everything is gonna come so easy. When I first started, I had to Google a lot of stuff, I had to try a lot of different stuff, and 
I had to call customer service for help. But if you get lost, hey, get that phone number and call somebody to help you. And, and this is what the pen is for. Now that we tested it out, it works. Let's cut some vinyl. And where I get my vinyl, scissor, easy weed. Vinyl, top brand for sure, in my opinion. And then you can actually get it in the link below. And it costs about $2.50 per foot, which is great, because you only need a foot for a shirt. Before we start cutting, we got to test out if we have the right knife setting. How do we test it out? There's a button up here that says test. We press that. There you go. Now, to move the vinyl down, offline, move arrow down. There we go. And some of you guys asked me, Reyes, how could I make sure the vinyl straight? Well, this is what you do. Okay, so it's gonna start right here. So you align it as best as possible. Then you press offline and you push down. And see how it's going cricket? See how it's going like that? Or we gotta rotate it. it. Means it's not straight. And now look. Pretty straight to me. See the back? How it didn't cut all the way through? Even peel this with my hand if I wanted to. Beautiful. And let's cut this bad boy. There you go, look at that. You could adjust the speed and the pressure right there. See, this for the force, right there. Speed, there you go. So the first one, didn't cut everything, and the reason was because it was going too fast. I lowered the time to 500, and came out perfect. And there you go, see? I'm not gonna tell you this machine is perfect, because this one and the last one I had, the US cutter, wasn't perfect, but there's always a way around it. First attempt. Second attempt. So we're gonna preheat the shirt and then you can use a Teflon sheet. I don't got Teflon sheet. I got parchment paper. So that's what we're gonna use right now. And I know what you're thinking, you think, Reyes, how can I do two colors? Well, I'm gonna show you that right now. Uh-huh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do it for five seconds. There we go, take this off. The vinyl comes with sticky backing. I mean, you can put it on the shirt and it won't move. Oh, shit. I almost forgot this. Another question I get asked is, Reyes, how do I align my design on the shirt? Well, there's no one way of doing it, but I'm gonna show you my way, see if it helps you. So, you always wanna get the shirts from the seams in the shoulders right here, right? Get it, uh-huh, put it down. Then you wanna make sure the seams on the armpits are pretty straight. There we go, all right. A design usually starts four inches away from the collar, so I will go right here, four, uh-huh. And then we do something we call in the shirt industry, the eyeball test. You know, well, I'm just trying to eyeball it. See, the good thing about this vinyl, it has sticking backing, so I can move the shirt around, the design still gonna stay the same. Uh-huh, there we go, pull it up straight. And I know we all want everything perfect, but a customer ain't gonna tell you, hey, this is five millimeters to the right. Now, as long as it's under the collar, 
Pretty center on the shirt. You're good, homie. Now, decals. Decals, pretty much the same thing. You send your design. With decals, you do not mirror. And then you cut it with your vinyl cutter. And then we put something called transfer tape. Like, look, that's decal material. Transfer tape. And then, look. And then decals stick on anything glass, plastic, metal. Mainly people use them for car decals, you know, put them on the window of cars. But you could put them on tumblers, you could put them in glasses, you could put them in picture frames. Look, I got that one for my daughter right there. Let me show you how much it would cost. I started with just a vinyl cutter doing decals, and I actually made videos of the whole journey, and I made them into a playlist which you can check out right here or at the end of this video and now for a decal cutter three hundred dollars material about twenty dollars just to start out with the tape about twenty dollars and then you need an exacto knife i just use a little razor blade and a squeegee you could use your credit card but you could find them online for like a dollar so to start a decal business about three hundred and forty dollars to start a shirt business the vinyl cutter, 300. A little bit of vinyl to start out with, about $30. A heat press, 260. And the reason I use this heat press is because it has a lifetime warranty. Me, no matter what happens, I could call into this company and they're gonna help me fix it. And Teflon sheets. All of that will cost you about $600 to start. So, you got 300, start with decals. You got about 600, do shirts and decals. And you know what, just because I like you, I put everything you saw today in the description below so it could be easy for you to buy and find, all right? Well, I, I guess that's it. Hopefully this motivated you and gave you enough information for you to take that jump and start something. Now, a lot of people ask me where I get my shirts, gfishirts.com. And the shirts I use are next level 3600. Go get you a vinyl cutter, go get a heat press, link in the description below, and start your business, man. You need a little bit more motivation, like I said, check out how I started my whole journey right here. And I'll see you in my next video.